All right, it is a soggy day out here in the woods, and uh, what we're gonna be doing is flipping a bunch of boards and tin, trash, you name it. We're looking for rare snakes today, uh, something that I've been spending quite a lot of time doing, so I'm hoping today we can see something cool. I'm gonna let you guys know, and uh, hopefully this rain clears up a little bit because it is uh, it's pretty rough out here. <laughs> All right, well, all this rain is bringing out the box turtles. Check this one out. Nice, pretty turtle. Look at that. Closed itself in the shell, but he's just hanging out in the road, which we actually almost hit this turtle. We barely saw it because the uh, the pine needles. So I'm gonna put it over here and hopefully it stays out. Another one of these guys. I love to see it. Crossing right into a farm field. Kind of cool. Getting my camera gear wet, so I'm just going to put it off. But there's his face. See ya, buddy. This looks intriguing for sure. Now, do we have any snakes living up in this garbage? That is the question. That got me for a second. Just a coil of a wire. So we just went through this tin stack right here and uh, scored with <laughs> three ring neck snakes. Pretty cool. Um, good to see that this cover is getting some snakes up in it. These guys are very common in the area we're in, so um, I'm sure we're going to see more of these guys today. But pretty snakes. They've got that bright yellow belly and a vibrant ring around the neck. I'm just going to let them all go right here and they can... Uh, find their way back into this this tin stack cool we keep looking all right we're digging through a pile of bricks and I got this ring neck snake these guys are super super common I thought this one's kind of cool though because it looks like it's gravid um, I one time found a, a ring neck in the middle of laying eggs, and this one looks like it might have a big fat back section like that. And for that reason, we're going to keep the encounter short, as we would anyway with a ring neck, and uh, let it back into these bricks. Ooh. All right, with the I rammed this like random metal in here. Then, they, wow, it's still wet out. Look how many holes there are under this. The oh, tunnels. That's great. It's, yeah, I put that under there intentionally too. I'm gonna grab them up top. Oh, that felt warm and good. Is that yeah. Here's a little brown skink. That's good. My oysters. <laughs> Big old skink. I just flipped under a board. That's pretty neat. Look at that. He's gaping his mouth and stuff. Pretty cool. Kind of bluish tail. I'm sure it was a lot more vibrant and contrasty when it was young. Oh, it's trying to bite me. I got bit by one of these the other day off camera and it hurt. This might be a gravid skink, so now that I think of it, so I'm gonna let it go. Ouch! Ouch! All right, they actually have pretty strong jaws. Come on, Nicole. Other way, other way. All right, you know what? <laughs> go that way. <laughs> There it is. Oh! Okay, so we were going around flipping some junk in the woods here, and uh, 
This milk just popped up. Dave flipped them under a little piece of a shingle, pretty inconspicuous looking. And this is a really nice one. Hopefully I can get them in the light and show you guys, but nice low bands, bright red color, pretty young, young one. Super awesome. Wow, this thing is just awesome. Huh. Look at that right there. Bands going all the way down to the stomach. That's just awesome. Super exciting. We're going to photo this guy. Dave is really excited. Uh, as am I. And, uh, yeah, pretty awesome. It was sitting perfectly still and you scared it, Will. I did not scare it. Get out you of did. here. All right, I think I got what I need. All right, let's go find another snake. Okay. All right, we're letting this little milk snake go back where we found him. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to find another. Oh, ooh, look at that guy. Oh, he's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, oh, he's hot. Ow. Ow. Man, these are my favorite snakes. These are the best. Look at that gaping. He definitely came in and ate the family of mice <laughs> under here. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's cool. All right, I usually don't even pick up racers, but <clears throat> don't bite me on the release. There you go. <laughs> I got some great footage for you, Will. Wow, thanks so much. That was awesome. You're welcome. That's a uh... poop on me. All right, guys, so uh, me and Dave are going cruising. We've what also got Rachel in the back. Okay, come on. We've also got Rachel in the back. This is actually a different day than the previous part of the video, and I'm actually also cheating because we just found a beautiful Mole King right as the sun was setting. I'm gonna roll that footage now, and then that's gonna kick us right into uh, the cruising segment of the video, so let's get after it. <laughs> we're off the side of the highway, and oh my God, we're just on our way to cruise. We just cruised a smoker of a mole king. Flipped, not cruised. Sorry, a, I can't even speak. Yes, we did flip it under a board. All right. Holy smokes. Oh, that's so nice, dude. That's an exceptional okay. mole king. That's beautiful. The sun is just starting to go down, and sorry for the incoherency of that last video clip, but we pulled off the road, and under a fallen piece of wood, we flipped this absolute smoker of a big, Likely gravid mole king. Who flipped it well? I did. David's girlfriend flipped it. No, she didn't. I flipped the board. Doesn't matter, but. Dude, that thing is so nice. That thing is amazing. We're gonna photograph this. Um, I'll get you guys a little bit more video. I'll bring up my video light so you guys can see it a little better, but very chunky, beautiful mole king. And my first from this area, so super awesome. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this snake. This is the best looking mole king I've ever found by far. And she's acting Sad cranky. But look how, oh, just orangey that is. That's gorgeous. Super excited. I screamed when we flipped it, and I wish I were rolling the camera because we didn't get anything at the oh. last flips. So, you know, man. <laughs> All right, so. Wow, we just photoed the snake, but the oranges on it, I don't know if they're coming out. They're absolutely unreal. Yeah, this thing is phenomenal. I'm like sweating. I screamed when we flipped it because I was just so excited. But holy smokes. Um, we're gonna go back and let it go in just a second here, but man, what an awesome, awesome snake. You know. If the night doesn't get any better than this, we've uh, we've already done a good job. So pretty, dude. Letting this beautiful mole king go. Holy smokes, that is awesome.
All right, all the way up here, we have a rough green snake hanging out on the tree. Um, nothing's moving on the road so far, and if that continues, we're just gonna shine for some of these guys, where hopefully they're not as high up. All right, for whatever reason, cruising just was not happening, so we're just gonna get out and walk around a little bit, see if we see anything hanging out. And whoa, there's two, look. It's actually a pretty one. It's sitting still? Yeah. Look at that. That's neat. Wow. I don't know if you can tell, but you could literally cut the air with a knife right now. It is so humid. I'm shining a creek right now. We're not seeing really any snakes other than that green snake, but I'm gonna give this a try for a little longer before calling it a night. Looks like I made a friend. Some sort of dragonfly. Whoop. Maybe like a, whoo, darner or something. He's back. Huh, that's cool. Big snake head, kinda cool. Here's a little green tree frog on the road. Gonna make sure it gets off. Oh, that's the way, buddy. Okay. Uh, yeah, the night ended with very few snakes, but it was a good one anyway, because when you see a Mole King like that, especially me not really living in Mole King range, it's always exciting for me. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.